We're here at Webster Field preparing pallets with all of the support equipment and operating stations for the Fire Scout uh, to support deployment to Operation Enduring Freedom. This isn't something that we normally do and so we had to work hard to try to get all of the support equipment here to, to be able to build up these pallets and also just be able to load the aircraft. Going out on this deployment is what we call a GOCO, government-owned contractor operated. And we got the C5 here, they're going to load up all of their support equipment and some trailers and head on its way and then we'll have the actual Fire Scout aircraft will come to depart on a C-17. We have to prep the aircraft so that we have clearance on the top side and that the skids are able to clear the ramp as it's rolled up into the air freight. In order to get the aircraft ready for deployment, we had to do some modifications to the air vehicle. We wanted to be able to put on some extra equipment to allow us to do this uh, direct dissemination to uh, our ground forces, but also Afghanistan's hot and we needed to do some modifications for hot weather. Fire Scout's primarily a um, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance platform, so it goes out and tries to figure out what is around other ships or terrain uh, where uh, personnel might be. We already support um, the units out there today and the fleet as they support the warfighter. This is the first time at Pax River that we are supporting somebody at Pax who is going to Afghanistan. It's a non-traditional tasking. Uh, a lot of creative energy was put into this to allow us to be in a position so that we can support this mission. 